Duckies and Dilly Beer back with another streaming tips video and today we're looking at Lee Orenbord, the best free stream deck alternative. Absolutely free and there is so much that you can do with it. If you want to see some of the things that you can do with it, come and visit me at twitch.tv slash andylippy. I'm live most days, usually twice a day, and you can come and ask me any questions as well. So uh, I'm, today I'm going to show you how to get it all installed, get it all set up. I'm going to be doing a full series on this with different things that you can do inside the Iron Board, so make sure you are subscribed for that, okay guys? Make sure you've liked the video, and let's just get into it. Put your rock for the stone, let's go. Right, so to get all this installed, there's a couple of things that we need to get sorted. There's an OBS plugin called OBS WebSocket, which I've spoke about in the past. That's what's going to allow the Orin board to connect to OBS and create changes and different things like that. Okay, so to get that all installed, we need to head over to the, the GitHub page, which all the links are going to be down in the description below. Scroll right down to the bottom, and you can use the Windows installer, but I'm going to show you how to manually install a plugin for OBS, just in case you didn't know. So I'm going to download the zip. It'll take a couple of seconds to download. It's only 5 megs. Open up your downloads page, open up the folder, and you'll see three folders in there. Different plugins have a different amount of folders. It might be just the OBS plugins folder, but this has got all three. So we're going to copy all three of them and go to our C drive, and you'll see either in program files or program files 86. Mine's in program files. We need OBS-studio, all lowercase. Open up that folder and then paste directly into there. Mine's asking me to replace it because I've already got it installed. If you ever need to update the plugin, that's exactly what you do. You just copy and paste them into there and replace all the files in that destination. But I'm not going to do that for now. Make sure you do restart OBS if that is something that's already open and restart your computer potentially if you don't see it. Right, next we need to go and get Leoran Board itself. So this is on the OBS website. The link again down in the description. There's loads of handy hints on the website just here and I'm going to show you a couple of them. I'm just going to hit download first, get that all downloaded. So there's a readme telling you all the changes and different things like that. The button commands help. This is everything that you can do inside the Orin board. There is so much you can do so make sure you are subscribed because I'm going to go through what most of these mean and how you can better use them to make your stream incredible, okay? If you want to see some examples, come and visit me, twitch.tv slash andylippy. On this page, there's also a couple of setup tutorials and stuff like that as well if you need any further help. Uh, once that's downloaded, we need to jump into the downloads folder again, and you'll see Leoran board just here. Right click it and press extract all, and then you want it to be in a Leoran board folder, so extract. So you don't need to install this program or anything like that because it just comes as a standalone app. This is the folder that you'll be greeted with. And don't move any of these f files or folders around because it might cause the, the program to break, so leave them exactly where they are. Uh, I'll go into more detail what extensions and the notification system are at a later date. Basically, the extension is for you for people to create their own um, interactivity. For instance, I've got one on my channel that greets um, some of the most important people to me on my channel, and it pulls their profile picture. So Exceldro, the guy that makes all the best plugins for OBS, ha made me a little extension that would pull people's profile picture. So you can literally do anything with this. Literally, the world's your oyster. The notification system is similar to what Streamlabs and Stream Elements have got, but you don't need to use any third party. You can run all your raid notifications, your subscribers, follow alerts, everything like that, just through Leoran Board. Right, so to get it all set up and working, we need to go to Leoran Board Receiver. It's just a standalone app. Get that opened. Windows is going to protect your PC because it's oh, it's harmful, but it's not. It's perfectly fine. Just press Allow, Run Anyway, sorted. If for some reason... Leoran board doesn't open now, it might be an issue with your antivirus, so definitely make sure you, you allow the, the app or maybe disable your antivirus at a second. This app is completely safe, so don't worry. And also, if you kind of see it flash up for a second and then turn off instantly, that means you might have an issue with something on your PC, like a, a driver's out of date. I had the issue and it was my sound card that was being picked up as a display for some reason. So definitely make sure you update all your drivers and restart your computer and hopefully that'll fix it. 
I'm back into the Oran board here. We just need to leave everything as standard just here. The listen port to 9423 and the OBS port to 4444. Leave the password blank. You can, this is personal preference now. Um, auto connect to OBS when you open it and auto connect to Twitch. I like to have them on because it means I don't have to connect it every time. Turn my frames per second to 60 because that's what my stream's at. Press accept. And that is everything kind of done on the Oran board for now. We need to head into OBS. Just here and go up to tools and if you don't see WebSocket server settings it means you've not installed the OBS WebSocket plugin correctly so go through that kind of process again make sure you put it in the right folder okay or restart your computer. Open up that and you'll see the server port is on 4444 similar to what we saw in the Oran board leave everything else as standard just there. Hit OK. Pull up the Oran board press connect to OBS. That is it. You'll see all the way at the bottom just here that it says oh, connect um, to OBS WebSocket. It fetches all the data, so all your scenes, all your sources, and everything like that. And it'll also tell you what version of OBS you're using and what version of OBS WebSocket you're using. That's all done. You want to link it to your Twitch next. It'll pull this URL. Just press open URL. It'll open it in your web browser, and it'll say, that's it. You can go back to the Oran board. That's basically getting the, uh, the token, the auth token, to, to allow to connect to your Twitch account, similar to what you'll see if you use stuff like um, uh, different plugins on Stream Deck as well. So we just close that down. And now we need to get Leon Board to talk to your Twitch chat and everything like that. So to do that, we need to create a scene inside of OBS. I'm gonna call it TSL Transmitter, because that's what it is that we're gonna use. Just here, so it's a blank scene. And we're going to add a source. So rather than adding a source and going through all choosing the browser and everything like that, I'll show you a nice easy method. Jump into your Leon board folder and you'll see TSL transmitter. Drag and drop that into sources. And that'll just add the whole source there without having to go through all the uh, copy the link, paste the link, all that jazz. You can just do it straight through there. And you'll see it looks quite strange on here. It gives you a lot of test things that you can do, but you can't work that inside OBS. So you will have to run that through Google Chrome if you want that as well. So that is two different ways to do it. If you wanted to do things like text-to-speech, which I'll cover in a later video, you will have to run the transmitter through just Google Chrome, okay? Rather than using it in OBS, you will have to just leave a tab open with that transmitter running since it is just a Google Chrome tab. Does that make sense? So I'm just gonna shut that down for now. Like I say, I'll go more in depth with more of that later on down the line. So now we need to make sure it's all connected. Press connect to Twitch. That'll connect to that transmitter that you've put into OBS or that you're using on Google Chrome. And it'll listen to all the channel point redeems bits, channel subs and twi Twitch chat all down there. And that is it. Leon board is all connected now, ready to go. So you can see the examples of things just here, the meme sounds, and it, uh, if you right click on any of these, you can see how they were made. Uh, you can see that it's just using a sound sample on this one. But if I go to something like game scene here, you can see how that was created uh, just here. If we edit the keyboard macro, you can see, so that is using control two. If you've got anything set up on the hotkey, control two, pressing that button will hit control two. Okay, I'm just going to hit done and just show you something a little bit more um, thingy here. A little bit more in depth. You've got different key commands. You can usually see with this little symbol in the top left what that is doing. So it's using the keyboard macro again. Control C to hide camera, Control M. And you just set them hotkeys up in OBS and that will work. So for instance, if I just go into OBS now, I want to create a Control 1 scene just here. So I'm gonna go file and go to settings and then go to hotkeys. And I'm gonna find I want the full screen cam. So I'm gonna go down to Y full screen cam and go to switch scene and put that as control one. Press apply, press okay. And that is all set up ready to use. You'll see if I try and press on this, it's not doing anything because see the Oran board receiver as the editor for the buttons you need to open up the stream deck app to make anything work so if i go back into the folder and go to the Oran board you'll see the Oran board stream deck and the stream deck for pc you can see it for android as well so i'm going to open the pc one and open up that file 
Again, similar to when we opened up the receiver, it's going to ask if it's trying to protect your PC. Follow all the same steps as previous for that. And leave everything as standard. You'll see that port name is exactly the same as what it was previously in the receiver. Press connect and you'll see everything just here. So now we're on this. This is now the Stream Deck. So what we can see here is the finalized version here. If I press this, because that hotkey was set up to control plus one, that is done. Easy as that to control your stream, okay? So I'm gonna go more in depth on how to make all of this work in future videos. So just tinkering around with it. You can create your own deck by pressing add new deck just here, go into here, right click it and start adding buttons as well. There is so many different commands. Remember there's a lot of tutorials as well on the commands list, which you can get in the files folder just here back in Leoran board, open up the commands folder and that will show you all the commands and it'll tell you exactly what they do and how they work. So it can be pretty complicated, but this is such a powerful tool and I love using it on my stream. I've got different things like welcome alerts for pe specific people coming in and I've also got a command for every sub moderator and VIP that only they can use. So it puts a 10 second animation or clip that they chose to be a part of the channel on there. Come and check out my stream if you want to check that out. And I've got so many more advanced things that I'm working on at the moment. So hopefully this video has helped you out. Make sure you do like it and also subscribe for all future Leon Board and streaming tips videos. Put your rock in the stone. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.